In this tutorial, I will talk about the Advent feature from the custom panels. So first of all, if you remember from the previous tutorial, I have grabbed two brushes with colors. And when I grab brushes with colors, I also grab the papers. So if I make a right click on these brushes to edit them, we can see here a long list, including the tool, so it means the tool and the the current parameters, like the size, the power, and the different connection, the color A and color B, and a command, a command in JavaScript. So just a little parenthesis about the JavaScript. It's something very advanced, so I won't give any uh, tutorial about it. Anyway, I'll show you um, briefly how um, what the script can do, but uh, I show <laughs> I talk about this uh, later. But at the moment, focus on the command TV paper active zero. So this command, I click on it to type the command, just means here the paper are not active. And if I go on the second brush where the paper is active, we can see the command is longer. So we can see information like the hardness value, if it has been inverted or not, the size value, the angle value, the offset X and Y, if we have flipped the X and Y axis, if it's active, and what is the name of this paper. So for example, if I want now to change the paper, so I know it's Simon Zero, and I don't want to use Simon Zero, but I would like to use another paper, like, uh, for example, Novizy underscore 006. I will make edit. I will change the comment and I will change its name. Okay. Okay. And now I just have to refresh just by re-clicking on the brush and I'm using the new paper. So with the scripts, we can do a lot of things. Here it's something very basic and easy to understand. But when we know how to manage the script, we can do some very amazing stuff. For example, here we have a JavaScript panel that comes from the creation pack. It's a Python, it's an add-on uh, sold on the TVPen website. And for example, it will allow me to draw some fractal elements. or some arrows. Or a button or other stuff. So that's why there, there's no any tutorial about um, scripting because the possibilities are very, very high, <laughs> actually. So I will just give you some example of how the script was used but uh, I won't explain them because it's very much too long and we wouldn't necessarily a bunch of tutorials just to speak about the scripting. So let's now close the JavaScript panel. I don't need it anymore. In a custom panel, you can grab something else than a brush. So by default, I'll just show you the grab current tool and grab current tool with colors. We can also grab just colors. It means the A and B colors. And we can also add actions. When I add an action, I will add um, a feature, a button that will allow me to do this or that functionality. For example, I could create a button that allows me to delete a layer. So let's create it. Delete layer. I will use an icon like this one. I will click on this button and I have a lot of choice here and especially the choice to set a keystroke layer and let's click on delete okay I draw something and if now I hit I will first create several layers and if I hit my button now I will delete the layers so a custom panel can have a lot of options if you remember in the previous tutorial, I showed you could give a name to your brush. 
or actually to an action if you if you wish. And once you gave a name to a brush or an action or anything else, you have the possibility to assign this action or this brush to a shortcut. I have given a name to these two uh, tools and I will assign a shortcut. So I go into edit shortcuts. I will tape their name, brush one custom panel. Okay, let's use G and let's find brush two. And that's okay. And now I will hit G and H to switch between both brushes. So now just to show you an example of how complex a custom panel can be, let me introduce you the default custom panels available in TV Paint. They are all hidden on the right hand side, on the right hand side drawer, just here. So in the tool presets, it's um, a custom panel with many different kind of brushes. Actually, all of those brushes can be changed. They are uh, defined by default, but you can change their configuration. You can change even their icons if you don't like the icon. Here, you remember I was talking about projects and here it really makes sense, as you can see. And if you remember the wet profile here, we have our sand brush. And we can even add rainbows or clouds and many other stuff. So this tool process just contains custom brushes and even some uh, two scripts here to grab your own brushes. But I would advise you uh, to create your own custom panel. We also have another custom panel just here. This custom panel mix actually brushes and script. I will open a file to explain the way this feature works. Here we are. So here we have on the same layer, on the just a single image, we have a rough animation. We have a clean using black lines. We have red lines to mark the difference between clear zones and dark zones. And the same here with the green. And I have a tree, it's normal. It's because I'm still using the custom brush. Here we are. And so you've noticed all this drawing is made on a single layer. Anyway, thanks to the sketch panel RGB, I have the possibility to affect one or another color without affecting the other ones. The sketch panel is really handy since it emulates the traditional color rays pencils we use in traditional animation on paper. So you can use the blue line for the rough, the black for the clean, and red or green element for retex or for um, giving the delimitation between dark zones and clear zones. You can even use here this little eye to display the black lines only during a few seconds. And I will answer a question I am asked uh, frequently. No, you can't change the colors. They are linked together and if you try to change one of the colors, uh, it will be quite messy. So, sorry, but you have to draw with red, green, blue and black. If you don't like the RGB panel sketch panel, you have other sketch panel available here in the custom panel menu. And you may use the sketch panel in blue, orange, black. And that's the other choice that you may have. <laughs> And now another custom panel. This custom panel 
is uh, doesn't include any brush. These custom palette has only actions, and most of them are using script. For example, there is this um, this one managing instances, which means it allows me to create new instances by hitting this plus one button. And if I hit plus one button with shift key, I will create new instances before. We also have here to delete a complete instance, which is really useful if, for example, you have a long instance like this, hitting this button will automatically erase uh, the complete instance. You also have the possibility to set different exposers, like this. You can even select several instances and set the exposure just in once, like this. You can also, uh, for example, move uh, an object with these arrows, so it moves the element pixel by pixel. And if, for example, let's imagine um, I open a sequence, I will open this uh, PSD sequence like this, load, and so it has imported my sequence, but uh, it has created a bunch of layers and not a bunch of uh, instances inside a single layer. So I may use this button to turn the sequence uh, like this. And if I want uh, the contrary, I can click on this button to have the other function. So I hope you understood the power of the custom panels.